what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Michael here at the Body Beatdown. It's Friday afternoon. I'm a little later than normal because on Fridays I gotta take my paperwork to the office. I gotta fuel up my school bus. Then I gotta get home, do my pre-workout, let that all digest and whatever. So I'm a little later today. Matter of fact, it's 4:47 right now. Typically I'd be getting done. Close. So anyway, today is back day. We're not gonna waste a lot of time. If I do a lot of videos, uh, video video clips, I might speed them up to make it go quick. So right now we got the bar, we got 45s on. We go ahead and write that down. That's, for those of you that don't know, 45s on each side plus a 15 pound bar is about 385 pounds. Maybe. All right. So this is my warm-up set. I do like to show warm-up sets a lot of times because your warm-ups are as important as any other lift you're going to do during the workout. So uh, we're going to be doing underhand, under grip, reverse grip, grippity grip grip. Great. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it without cutting the camera. Let's get it going. I want to get done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Got a pretty good stretch there, but then I was also slamming my back, slamming my elbows. Not slamming them together, obviously, but kicking them up real good, getting that squeeze in that back. So we'll do a little bit more and uh, we'll get back with you in a minute. Stick around, guys. Alright guys, I put 25s on the ends. That means we have 130 pounds. Pretty good jump. We're at 195 now. 245s on each side, plus 15 pound bar, plus the clips themselves weigh 20, 24 pounds, or maybe a pound, a few ounces. I don't know. Gram? I don't know. I don't know. Leave me alone. Let's get some of these. jump here we're at 285. If you watch my videos and you watch me do bent rows, you know I like to go heavy, heavier than I should. But I also get sets in there where I do good reps and you know plenty of reps and all that good stuff. So I like to go heavy with my weights sometimes. Mm. 
You'll notice I did the rest pause. I like doing that sometimes anymore with the heavier weights. I feel like it allows me to reset and get a decent rep. Give it a try. All right, guys, I'm doing something crazy. I'm up to 335. I want to get one rep. I don't think I've ever gone this heavy. I probably do not need to go this heavy. 25, 45, 45, 15. One rest. <laughs> it is what it is. It was fun. I enjoyed it. That's what working out's about. Have a little fun. All right, we're going back down to 285. I hope to get four reps. It's going to be a pause and, yeah. You know what we're doing. Seems like I had 155 earlier in my routine, but I don't have it wrote down. I don't know if I miscalculated something or if I'm just thinking I had it. So I'll have to look back on that, on the video. Another good reason to look back at your videos. for back is the high cable, double handle, pull back. I don't know if there's a more technical proper name. That's kind of what I call it. It's high pulling, you're pulling back here. So as opposed to sitting up there on the actual lat machine, you're back here so you can get a lot, of, a lot more stretch and uh, you're able to have a lot more range of motion. It's a really, really great movement. If you don't do it, do it. The downside to this is there's nothing to hold my legs down. Like up there, there's a pad that my knees slip under. Back here, I'm kind of open. I gotta be able to control the weight to where it's not pulling me off the bench. So I don't typically go too heavy with this. I have went up over a little over 100, but that gets kind of tricky. But we'll do what we do. And uh, I may not film all the sets for this. I got five sets to do. I may not film all the sets. I don't think these are as interesting as like bent rows. And I'll tell you why at the end of the video. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these going. Uh, and I scoot back as far as I can within reason so I can get my feet against these bottom plates here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, guys, just like that, we're done with the back. Had a really good back workout. I went up super heavy on the rows. I like doing that. Uh, to me, it's just fun. Makes it fun. Uh, you also got to throw in some good sets with good reps and all that stuff. So a lot of times people look at people like myself that are doing the heavy weight, and they don't 
they don't think that we're doing anything else. They think we're just walking into our gym or a public gym, grabbing the heaviest stuff we can grab and just going for it. It's a process. So make sure you pay attention to people, watch their routines and all that kind of stuff, and then give some advice. Now, something I want to touch on, I got a little note wrote, wrote down there, something I want to touch on. Uh, one reason that I like going really heavy on my rows is because, in my opinion, my most humble opinion, bent barbell rows, or easy bar, whichever you want to use, bent rows like that are pretty much a deadlift's cousin. And if you're trying to improve your deadlift, do some heavy barbell rows. And vice versa, if you're trying to do heavy barbell rows, do some heavy deadlifts because you're incorporating a lot of the same muscles, especially if you grab the barbell from the floor like I did uh, when doing the bent rows. Uh, you know, sometimes we'll grab them off the rack. But if you give them from the floor, you're pretty much doing a deadlift and you're doing a row with it. So if you want to build your deadlifts up, do bent heavy, 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 heavy bent rows. And if you want to do the vice versa, to get a heavier row, do heavy deadlifts. They both go hand in hand. That's my opinion on that. I don't know if I've ever heard anybody talk about that before, but that's something that's uh, something I feel, I feel like they're really, really connected. So I did go up to 335 pounds on a bent row, which is pretty freaking awesome. And uh, yeah, it wasn't the cleanest, most amazing squeeze, but I definitely, moved it and I actually did two reps uh, with the rest pause uh, method and uh, felt really good. So anyway, I'm ready to get out of here, ready to go get my supper done. I'm gonna have chicken, I'm gonna have a piece of tilapia, some rice, and that's probably about it. So anyway, tomorrow's my cheat day, tomorrow's my deadlift day, and I look forward to that and I hope you guys do too. Please, if you do look forward to these things, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the bite beat down. That's me, Michael, your Vogue host. Who are you looking at? Anyway, get up, get out, get red. Do it to it. We'll see you next time on the Body Beat Down, which will probably be tomorrow. Stick around. You might as well sit there and wait. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it.